Welcome to your daily Google News. And uh, today I want to talk about something that I'm so excited about. It's Performance Max by Google Ads. Now, John's already done a video tutorial on how to build these um, that I think should be live before my video is live. So that's available and accessible inside of our channel if you want to go check out the nitty gritty. Um, I just want to talk about what it is and maybe approach this a little bit more high level. Um, because I, I got to tell you, I think this is going to be one of the biggest... I think this is going to be one of the biggest opportunities in the space of Google Ads since smart shopping. And what's funny about that is this is effectively smart shopping for lead generation. What Google's doing is it's giving us access to its entire ecosystem, but in a, in a way that finally makes sense. So, you know, historically, Google has tried to, let me look at just... Google has tried to um, bundle different channels, but it's it's done so in a really, I think, half-hearted way. If you run a search campaign, for instance, Google tries to get you to like add display, which has never worked. We even tested it recently again because we heard rumors that Google had improved something there, and it just it, the reason it doesn't work is because when you're running search, search is intent based, right? Somebody's actually going and saying, "I need this thing," and display is outbound and interrupter based. And so, if you're going to take your search campaign where you've made all these decisions that you know are inbound intent based decisions, and then apply them to an outbound network, it, 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 those two things just don't just don't apply very well. And and so, uh, what's cool about what Google is doing with Performance Max here is instead of having you build one type of campaign and then pushing it to all of its networks, um, it's actually functioning a little bit more like Facebook. I can't believe I just said that. Uh, but with Facebook, you, you know, with the, think about Facebook where you offer up your dynamic creative if you're using Facebook's dynamic creative, and which means you just give it like, you know, here's a bunch of headlines, here's a bunch of descriptions, here's a bunch of images, here's a bunch of videos, and then with Facebook, again, there's dynamic placements. And so you take dynamic creative and dynamic placements and then let Facebook figure out what goes where. Google's doing that. So we provide honestly very little um, in, in, in you know terms of the front end strategy, uh, marketing objective uh, assets, um, you know s signals, which I think is interesting. This is kind of segmentation, but not granular by any means. Audience and remarketing list. This is going to be really fun, uh, incidentally. Um, targets, uh, you know goals, and then you give Google your assets, and then Google pushes your account across its entire ecosystem. The, the whole Google universe, I love this little graphic here that they created, this is the first time I'm seeing it and I think it's awesome. Um, so you can, th this little document is available somewhere. We, we were just added to the beta recently and we got this when we were accepted into the beta. Um, so you can sort of see the way that this works. You gotta be a little careful, there's some pitfalls and John goes over this too, but like URL expansion, for instance, Google's going to do what they do with broad match and re with both hands. But what I'm excited about is uh, I actually believe in Google's ability to properly conversion optimize to a point to where you'll end up having a high performing campaign across all of Google's inventory. This is why this is so exciting. Um, now, there's a bunch of reasons why it's so exciting, but the thing that I'm most excited about is the utili utilization of Google's display network or, 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 or Google's broader network. Google's broader network to date, and I've said this, I've got it time stamped in videos in our YouTube channel. It's the biggest missed opportunity in the realm of online advertising. It's It's the big it's the most ubiquitous thing on the internet right the google display network reaches 90 percent of all internet users on the planet 60 percent of whom are reached on a daily basis you can tell how often i've said that um but it uh, to date it's been so hard to contend with because it's 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 just too big and it's too expansive and they don't let you do granular targeting the way that facebook does um so you can't like get all nitty-gritty with your interest-based segmentation really um you know it's it's like categorical and and even the segmentation that you can get after is you know not necessarily fully applicable so the, the Google has this immense amount of inventory that to date hasn't been hasn't really been accessible especially to smaller advertisers this changes that and it bundles it with everything else so I think that this is going to make advertising on Google Ads easier I think it's going to make proof of concept easier um, I think it's going to allow us to push media through all of Google's channels with far greater ease um, and what's cool about this too is it's going to give you and now depending on we don't know what the what the postmortem is going to look like, but it's going to give you indications as to where you actually might want to go up, carve out smaller, more strategic campaigns. I do think management just got a little bit harder, and I think management got a little bit harder because now instead of instead of looking at data from one level of analysis, 
you, you need to analyze data from, from all the levels of analysis. And that got a little bit more complex. So the setup and the launch got easier, better, faster. I think the, the analysis and the management got a little bit more complex. Now, Google's narrative is going to be automation because that's Google's narrative. And they're going to say like, oh, no, don't worry. We're going to automate for you. If that is ever true, I won't have a job. Um, so uh, don't worry about me. I'll figure something out. But I just don't think that that's going to be true just yet. So super excited about Performance Max. Keep your eyes and ears peeled because we're going to um, be coming back to you and explaining what it is that we found in our beta and um, recommendations that we would make and you know mistakes that we've probably made. Uh, we're demoing it for ourselves first, which is what we always like to do, and then we'll demo for some clients, and then we'll probably roll it out as a full-fledged full -fledged offering. But until then... Um, I'd love to know anybody else that's messing with this thing. If you have cracked the code and figured out something that I haven't figured out yet, please be a gem and, uh, and deliver it my way. I'd be forever grateful to you. And uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you care to. I shoot a video every day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.